Right then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of the Rate Good Road Trip for RGM Magazine. We've got a special guest for you today, probably the biggest road trip we've had today, and it's Sean Ryder. How are you doing, mate? You all right? Hello, yeah, great. How are you doing, Paul? Fantastic, thank you. I was just you. doing a little bit of uh, research, and it's 28 years since Pills, Stills and Belly Aches came out. Is it 28 years? 28 years, mate. And then, you know, we, we're talking about Black Grape today, and I just wanted to say, you know, you, as an iconic person in the music industry, How's that ride been for you over the last 28 years? Really, really <laughs> quick. <laughs> Has it? Yeah, I mean, it just go, it goes like that, you know, straight yeah. on here. It, go, it just goes like that, yeah. you know. I mean, I'm one of those dudes that, you know, just you know, thought, no, you know, I'm never going to grow old or never yeah. going to. And, and, uh, and it does just go boom. And it's, well, uh, John. Yeah, for, there seems to be a lack of rock and roll stars out, that, out there at the minute. I mean, I'd class you as one. Obviously, there's a everybody out there that knows about all the rock and roll stars but why do you think there's a shortage of well there isn't really because i mean if you're talking about young kids coming through now yeah right well the the sort of the rock and roll game now in, in, in the, the equal to sort of you know on the level of sort of i i, I don't like using this word because it sometimes it sounds <laughs> too to indie yeah but he's all the grind gear and all that sort right. of stuff that are, you know what I mean? And that's, you know, which is all over YouTube and whether they're rapping about or talking about fucking guns or <laughs> making money or whatever, that's just what a lot of the young kids that are, you know, was in yeah. indie bands or tried to get a band together, you know, back years ago. Well, that's the scene now, so they're there. I mean, and the other thing is, if you do go for a major label, and you are raw and real, well, they're frightened to fucking death Definitely, of it, yeah. and they won't have it. It's all right to look real, you know, and to look yeah. like you're that sort of dude, but if you really are, then they're going to have fucking none of it. So, and and, and in, a, in a lot of times, rightly so, because, you know, you've got you to know you play it properly. Well, I interviewed the Charlatans recently, and they, I asked them a specific question about you know, what's it like to be a charlatan 30 years into a music career? So I just wanted to ask you, what the, you know, what's the difference now uh, when you look at, you know, the music industry well, compared to okay. when you started? Well, now I think we may, for now, and, and now it is, with, with the music industry now, it's more, it's gone round again. It's, on, yeah. it's sort of gone back to, you know, Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin days, really, yeah. where you're not just in a band, you're an entertainer, you're in show business. Yeah, yeah. So now, you don't just, you know, you're not just in your band, you're not just making tunes, you you know, you, you, you're, uh, you know, doing more documentaries. More opportunities for well, stuff, you're doing yeah. documentaries, you're making movies, you're doing TV yeah. shows, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? And, and, and reality television and YouTube. So it's a, you know, you're an all round entertainment, yeah. entertainer. What's the secret to a long career in the music industry then? Because the Charlatans, when I asked the Charlatans, they said they didn't make enough money at the beginning of it all and they get bored quick. <laughs> so I was just wondering if that's a similar kind of uh, experience for you guys. Yes and no. I mean, certainly with, you know, with going on tour years ago, yeah. you know, it was 20, 30 years ago, you didn't make money. Yeah. You went on tour to sell albums. Yeah. And uh, t shirts made yeah. you some money. Uh, and you, you know, basically supposed to make your money by selling records. Yeah. Straight on, mate. So, I mean, now you actually get paid for doing shows. Yeah. What advice would you give a band wanting to stand out in these time of days? In these days, so there's a lot of young bands, unsigned yeah. bands that that tune into RGM, and they're, they're always after. Well, at the end of the people. day, you're gonna probably have to go through a major. Even if you go on YouTube oh, yeah. and you got 10 million people liking yeah. you and saying how fantastic you are and everyone's watching you, and you can know, I suppose, how do they make money by advertising or this yeah, or yeah. that. But even then, you're going to have to deal with a major. And if you want to really make money and, you know, you're not, you're not really going to do it being indie. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Okay. You, you've got to deal with majors. Who did you look up to when you oh, first started? Oh yeah, so all the mate, all the sort of big thing, you know. We want, we wanted rock and roll again, yeah. and and I'm not disrespectful. I won't name any names, right? But in 1980, you know, in sort of you can if you want. In, in, you in, you in want. the early 80s, mid 80s, or mid 80s, music had got a little bit stale again. It had almost gone to a never-ending 1976 episode of Top of the Pops. Yeah. 
where everything was pretty crap and you know and all sort of uh, you know brutal demand <laughs> but you know I'm not knocking them because they have their place in history and you so know left here a bit. yeah left, left here. here but it had become an, a really boring time yeah. you know I mean and just like what happened in 76 when it got really boring out came the pistols. Yeah, they you know, and spiced it all up again. Yeah, for everybody, I, mean, I have to... been disappointed with some people that I've met, and, and the, none of the what I've just mentioned. Oh, yeah, absolutely okay, fair not. Enough, yeah, fair enough. Absolutely not, you know. But uh, yeah, <laughs> and, and and usually again, it's, it's weird ones. Yeah, when you're bumping, you know, I mean, you, you bump into people and and you think these people are great. I mean, especially you know, do you want me to name one who I thought was horrible? Please, yeah, go on. Then. God, Billy Connolly's missus, Pamela <laughs> oh, Anderson. Yeah, okay, pa is it not Anderson? Pamela, S Pamela uh, Stevenson. Stevenson. Yeah, yeah okay. Pamela Anderson's great. Right now, Pamela, Ste so disappointing. Oh. What an utter and absolute snob and right up here. Absolute goon. <laughs> no, and she, I used to think she was, was great. She on... Was she an editor and all? Was she? Was she an editor or just wait for newspaper? No, she's, she was on 9 o'clock news, no, she yeah, yeah. well before your time, not yeah. the 9 o'clock news, which was like sort of pretty rad right on sort of uh, okay. Show. Okay, right. You know, and you thought it was all great, and then, you know, so, yeah, <laughs> but, not, you know, and another cut, but obviously not from the year to where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, the, the print media has changed so much over the last... There Just is no print media. Well, yeah, so <laughs> since the demise of the enemy, I can remember seeing yeah. a quote from you on the telly saying that used to be your Bible. The enemy a long a lot a long time well, ago. Yeah, I, think, quote, but... I think it was every kid sort of yeah. you know by who was in that you know all the sort of music papers. Well, we we've started RGM to try and do something different and to try and stand and have our own identity as just being honest with bands and supporting them with constructive feedback and that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, so um, how has it changed? Hey, in, in try and give experience? some new, new, young kids in a band some constructive feedback. I do all me. the fucking time. How, how does it's that fucking, go down? Well, there's a lot of bands that I know personally, uh, and sometimes if they get a review on the magazine, it's not me that's writing it, and they might get a bit of slating. Yeah. So I get stuck in the middle quite yeah, a lot yeah, with yeah, these yeah. bands, and they do take it personally. Well, you and, do, because of they're close you do. to it. Yeah. And and. And just going back to the uh, rock and roll people, there's not as many rock and roll people. I'd love it if a band. Well, there are. They, they, they are, but they're just not in. They're not picking up guitars and, and things like that, and rightly so. You know, rock and roll. Is I want in, them to tell RGM to fuck off and, know, just, and just fucking have it and give me some attitude back. That then. attitude that you're talking about yeah. is there. It's but it's in the grime game and it's in. Right. You know that in, in that and that's what just. Exactly the same, you know, when young kids wanted to be rock and roll, yeah. going back 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago, right. whatever. Well, that's just the same thing now. But the only thing we never fucking visualised, yeah. really, was the money aspects of it. Because yeah. it didn't... We was doing it for money. Yeah. Right? You know, we wanted to make money. Yeah. always did. Right? But it wasn't... It was nowhere near... It wasn't why we was doing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? We yeah. was doing it because we wanted to make music. Yeah. And if you're doing something right, then that will come with it. So the business side of it is be savvy. Be savvy with that would be a good. You've got to be maybe. savvy yeah. with with the business side of it. You know, you really. I mean, I mean, we made it. You know, the Mondays and, and, and like the Pistols. When you do something good, you make it look fucking easy. Yeah. But you know, believe me, we was in. We practiced and we did business and we did everything that we we could to sort of make yeah. it successful. What kind of what bands are coming up on the scene at the minute? I haven't got a clue, mate. Don't you? I'll tell you why I haven't got a clue, right? At the moment, I'm, I've got the uh, nine and, and ten year old girl there. Right. So what until are they, what are they into? Well, I'll tell you, right? So <laughs> they're into um, Ariana Grande. Right. They're into Taylor Swift. Yeah. Uh, they're into Capital Radio, big time, and all the things that are on Capital Radio, uh, and. And they're going to get to a stage when you get to about 13, uh, when you go, Dad, we want to see uh, the flaming snakes or whatever. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And, you know, they're on a, such a shitty little club with <laughs> right. three people in, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? And where it's dead sweaty. And we'll get to that <laughs> stage where I'll be going through that with them, you know what I yeah. mean? And I've got that to look forward to. <laughs> but at the moment, I haven't got a fucking clue what's going on. <laughs> so, I mean, if I'm listening to music now, I put on either absolute 70s, absolute 60s, Straight gold on, yeah. radio, stick Northern Soul CD. I still do CDs. Still you know, Northern Soul CDs are sort of going back to some <laughs> of my old catalogue that I haven't listened to for years. <laughs> so just, just so I'm really shit. I'm not, <laughs> well, that's I'm, you know, right. I'm not 
you know, we're sort of oh, throwing you... any bands out. Oh. But again, what we what we're saying here yeah. is there aren't really that many sort of young bands out there anyway. You know, yeah. forget all the fucking street stuff and the, the rap and all that. You know, which is uh, grime and all being catered for there. But on the other side, I don't mean that I'm, I'm not come across any anyway. Well, I'll, I'll no, give you. I'll I don't give come it. across fucking anything unless it's like on, <laughs> on Nickelodeon now. <laughs> well, I'll give you one. Manchester band, the Winachi Tribe. Yeah, they've check heard them. Check yeah, them out. No, I, I've actually, I, pro, I have heard them. Yeah, I have heard them. Uh, Saw them recently. Just fucking nice. Yeah, just everyone's. Yeah, well. yeah, they, they are a big noise at the moment. Yeah, yeah, nice one. Well. <laughs>